Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we are going to create water reflection effect on this regular photo. So this is a barn image and then we are going to turn it into this. So the barn image is reflected on the water with a replaying texture. So this is a pretty simple process. So just to follow my instruction, uh, step by step instruction and you will get it. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download this barn image from the link I provided in my description. And then once you open this file in Photoshop and unlock this layer and then uh, add layer mask from your layers panel. See that? Then now choose your uh, gradient tool from the toolbox black foreground and white background so I'm black to white uh, gradient and make sure you're using the linear uh, gradient I'm going to place my mouse cursor somewhere here or under uh, this barn and then I'm um, um, keep pressing your mouse button and drag up hold down the shift key so somewhere like this maybe not too much just like this okay looks good and then now hold down the control key and click your layer or go to your drop down menu and we're going to convert this to a smart object okay now let's duplicate this layer for the reflection command j i'm going to rename this as the um, uh, reflection reflection layer so reflection layer is selected go to our image menu I'm sorry edit menu transform and flip vertical okay now choose the remove tool keep pressing and hold down the shift key so I'm going to move it somewhere here okay now select both layers hold down the shift key and the bottom layer so I'm selecting everything I'm gonna move it up somewhere here okay looks good then I'm gonna move my reflection layer to the bottom okay so reflection layer is selected now go to uh, filter blur and motion blur set your angle to um, yep zero degree zero or 180 and then not too much see that so I'm um, 16 or yeah, 14, maybe somewhere there around. Yes. And OK. So it already looks like a kind of a little reflection, but we want to make it more realistic. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make it a new file. So let me check the image size of this file first. It is uh, 12 inch by 17 inches uh, height. So OK. So I'm going to make a new one size is going to be inch unit i'm going to keep the same width 24 inches and i'm going to double the height it's going to be um, um 34 because it was the yeah, 24 24 by 17 and the 72 dpi i'm not going to change anything but make sure your background color is black so black background okay so this is a new file we're going to make the kind of a wave uh, texture using this so first the thing is, let me unlock this layer. What I'm going to do is, let me go to uh, Filters menu, Add Noise, and just Maximum. Say OK. And then I'm going to go to Filter again. And I'm going to Blur and Gaussian Blur. I'm going to blur it just a little bit, maybe 2.0. OK. Now go to Channels panel. So there are uh, four, I know, three different channels, so red, green, and blue. Select the red. Then now go to filter, stylize, emboss. First angle, I'm going to uh, enter the 180 degree angle and height, just one pixels, amount, maximum amount. Okay. Now this time select the green channel. Go to the same thing. Filter and stylize emboss. 
this time angle 90 degree angle <clears throat> and one pixel height and 500 percent maximum amount okay now go to rgb see now i'm back to layers panel let me zoom out about this much for now then go to uh edit transform and perspective place your mouse cursor on the bottom right corner keep pressing your mouse button and hold on the shift key and drag it like that and let me zoom out even more just keep dragging i'm going to zoom out even more see maybe about that much and check okay so let me double click my hand tool so this is the result so it looks like a kind of a water uh, wave so that's what we need and then before we do that i'm gonna flatten the image flatten image okay now go to file save this file as on my usb i'm gonna save it as a map make sure your file format it's supposed to be a Photoshop legacy file, PSD file, no JPEG. Save it. Okay, now back to barn. Now it's time to apply that uh, texture, the map we made. Select the layer, the reflection layer. Now go to um, filters menu, distort, displace. I'm going to enter the, uh, this distortion uh, value, 10 horizontal and then a 40 uh, vertical scale. And stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels just as it is and say OK. It will ask me to uh, browse map.psd we have just saved, this one. Open it. See? Isn't it cool? If you want to have the more distortion, then just the, uh, increase the other value. I think it looks good for now. And now I want to make it even more realistic. So uh, let me add a new layer. New layer on the bottom. I'm going to fill that layer in black with my paint bucket tool. So a paint bucket, black foreground. So I have a black background. Now select the reflections layer. This time add a new layer mask on it like this then <clears throat> choose your gradient tool make sure black to white i'm going to place my mouse cursor somewhere here under my document somewhere here and drag up hold down the shift key see it's getting a little darker kind of a fading like that okay if you want, you can change the opacity value even darker, like that. Maybe that's too much. I'm just keep just like this. Okay. And then uh, I want to have to do something there in this border. So I want to make this level, uh, the area, a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is, let me hit the command R. I'm going to make a one guidelines. So I'm here. here. Okay. So I just yeah, drag the arrow from the top ruler to the bottom and then select the top layer, add a new layer on very top, choose the, your uh, gradient tool, this time black to white, but uh, I'm going to choose one, two, three, and four, that one, this linear gradient option. Then I'm going to draw one gradient, gradient, uh, not in there. Maybe somewhere there. Okay. Or a little up. That looks good. Somewhere there. Okay. Let me hide my guidelines. And then that layer, I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to uh, multiply like this. And let me change the opacity value down. Somewhere, maybe that level. So you see the difference with and without maybe even less 
Very subtle change. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go to full screen mode. So this is what we have now. Okay, so that's it. So um, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.